Hi you guys, we are going to be cheating, chatting and yeah, it's going to be a long video so definitely grab your popcorn, your snack, whatever you want to use to enjoy today's video. Hi everyone, it feels as if it's been ages since I sat down and talked to you guys. It's crazy because I remember, you know, back in the day, the old YouTube days, right? We used to just sit down, chit, chat and things like that. So today's video, as you guys can tell from the title, it's gonna be kind of a sit down chat with you guys. So definitely grab your wine, your juice, your cookies, your popcorn, your tea, whatever it is you guys want to enjoy while watching this video because this video is actually something that it's been so like it's been long overdue. I've been planning to do this video for probably a month or two now. I never got around it. So I feel like this this new year is definitely like this video is going to motivate a lot of you guys. We need to chat. We need to talk. I mean, it's been 10 years. 10 years, you know, we've been doing this. We have been doing this, guys. And um, yeah, you guys know 10 years is not it's not 10 days. It's not 10 hours. It's like it's been a decade, guys. So there have been a lot of, you know, there have been a lot learned. There's been a lot of disappointment, there's been a lot of victory, a lot of success. So let's just go ahead and get started because I'm so happy for today's video. My brows, I think it's been over one week since I trimmed my brows. So I'm just going to quickly just shave off like, I love to shave off um, down and up, especially those places I have like small hair. I love to just go ahead and shave it off, honestly. I. I wouldn't say I miss makeup videos guys, but just being able to sit down and chat with you guys, I've missed it a lot. So, it's been a journey. <laughs> it's been a journey guys, it's been a long, long, long journey. And um, let me tell you the truth, if someone had told me 10 years ago, that 10 years after, I'm still going to be like here, loving filming, loving editing <laughs> loving just sharing experiences with you guys like i wouldn't have believed it guys because you know i always tell people that being a content creator came to me unawares because i would yeah unawares in the sense that it came to me like i didn't know you guys know like back in the day we are talking of 10 years almost 11 years ago right a lot of us we didn't know we all knew that oh there's youtube you know you can actually make videos and post online but we didn't really know like the the whole thing about it so i would say a lot of people that started um social media 10 11 12 years ago started it just as a hobby you know we didn't really take it seriously all we knew was oh we just we just enjoy filming we enjoy um, posting on social media and for me personally before I came to the US guys I never heard anything about YouTube like I never ever ever heard anything about YouTube so um, let me just I'm kind of starting from the beginning so that you guys would kind of follow you know with the journey and so after I got married of course I relocated I came to the US and um, <sighs> Of course, as every <laughs> every new person in a new country, like you come in, you're kind of thinking of like, what am I going to do? Like, am I going back to school? Of course, a lot of us like from from Africa, a lot of us from Nigeria, majority of us, even back home, they will always tell you, oh, if you happen to leave the shores of the country, when you go to any country, try, try and do nursing. So I was like, you know what, probably that's like maybe what i'll have to do after you know i adjust i'll probably start you know with nursing go to school come out become a nurse because you guys know even though you you do masters and everything in africa when you come to all these um, first world countries you have to do courses right to back it up so i was like instead of me just doing courses to back up whatever it is i studied back home i would just do nursing that was like the plan but then one day after i came <laughs> we got a call from my mother-in-law you guys if you know if you've been following me for a while you guys know that my mother-in-law she is more like my mom guys like i love I loved that woman like I loved her like a mother 
and when I came in and I saw like how nice and how selfless she is like he, he, like my mother-in-law is the type of person it doesn't take you a lot to love her so I just loved that woman and when I came just like everyone just like myself my husband like my in-laws they were trying to figure out oh what can i do you know and things like that because me ah i beg go i'm not interested in being a housewife you know even though i love the idea of kind of being home taking care of the family and everything but still like i knew i wanted to do something so one of the days uh, i was here i think it was in a, on a morning like this I w we woke up, I woke up with hobby and then our phone, my, my husband's phone rang, it was my mother-in-law. Usually my mother-in-law is the first person my husband talks to in the morning and the last person he talks to in the night before, you know, he goes to bed. I just, I just really, really loved their relationship. So, in the morning she called, she was like, oh, how are you guys doing? How is Ify? How is, you know? How is she adjusting this is probably a month or so after i came to well, like after i relocated and joined my husband so my husband my mother-in-law was like aha uh -huh, i just called because everybody we all know how to be the type of person that, that watch him you guys know good morning america that that was her show like she enjoys good morning america so she was telling us how she was watching good morning america and one lady a white lady came on and they were interviewing her and she was talking about how she has acne and you know she started posting uh, videos online and you know the like she blew up online and my mother-in-law was just looking at the, she was watching the show she was looking at the lady she was she just said something in her told her just call Ify like this if he can do this like my mother-in-law was like wow 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 so she picked up the phone she called and was just telling me she was telling my husband and also myself because when she started talking she said my husband should put put me on the phone too so the phone was on speaker and she was just telling us you know about the show she's watching right now and the lady that came on she had a terrible acne and she decided to start sharing it online on social media and you know she's doing really really well and she was just kind of telling me that that this is a huge opportunity for me since I have acne also that um, maybe I should look into like what it takes to go into YouTube to film videos and things like that you know bear in mind i came today i'm just freshly new in the country i didn't even know anything called youtube before i came so i was like which one like what what is youtube mom what are you saying she was like oh that you know i should just look it up on on google and you know search it up and things like that i was like you know what okay mom no problem i'm gonna look it up so after after we finished um on the phone with her and we dropped the phone i was like i was, I was telling my husband i said ah, sweetie me like this with all my like freshly i was just still fresh in the country i was like ah me with all this my acne you know if i was this type of person that is not positive right i would have seen it that my mother-in-law is trying to set me up whereby she knows this is like an aspect of my I, I want to be doing my makeup and talking like this is going to be a challenge i don't want to not be doing makeup and just stay and be talking because it's going to make the video much more longer so i just thank god the fact that i listened to her i went on google put in youtube and then she told me the lady she was watching in uh, on good morning good morning america on the show is Cassandra Banks in and I was like ah, Cassandra so immediately I went to YouTube I put in Cassandra before even before I put in Cassa she, her videos popped up guys this lady she had like terrible acne even though right now her skin is so clear right now but I'm saying like 2012 2013 right her, her, her video was something else so I now went I put on on YouTube and then I started watching her I was like I was so mesmerized with the fact that she had acne that was worse than my acne but after she put on her makeup the fact that you couldn't see nothing you know after her makeup so i just drew in press and another thing is i've always been the type of person that love makeup i've always loved makeup i've always loved beauty but i never knew it was something that would land to this you know so when i when i started watching her videos i just got so addicted 
next thing i believe the next day and one thing i was doing when i was watching her videos was she was at least thankfully she was able to say oh she was used let's say she's using this product she say oh this is the hourglass something something in shade something something so she was giving all the details so i ran got my book my paper my pen and then i wrote all the info down the next day <laughs> and she wasn't i didn't remember i didn't know places then right she was even talking of like the the shops where she got the products that was my first time of hearing sephora so she was like oh this is from sephora this is from alta this is from target ha i was asking my hobby i said babe do you know all these places he said that he don't know about sephora but he knows target he knows walmart he knows he doesn't know he didn't know alta but he checked he googled and that was how the next day we ran out like i was so excited we went we got products and i just started you know doing of course even though i had like love for makeup but i was no professional when it comes to you know makeup i just loved um putting on makeup for myself you know back home and so after we got the products i just started putting on like trying doing it myself and um after a while my mother-in-law she just kept pushing she said if you will be able to teach people how to cover do you think you're the only one that have makeup like a lot of women are also going through this so maybe you'll be able to help people right that was how one day like this me and my husband we decided to check into youtube and then we decided to open up an account and when we opened up the account guys there was nothing like branding like there is a lot of there is a lot of details that go into having a youtube channel or a social media account that a lot of people get it now but back in the day there was no information if you go to google and put in anything there was no information on things like that like in terms of branding knowing the right name to go with all we did was we came up with my first name and my the name my my grandma calls me so we came up with those two names i think the la the first of the first three letters of my no the first last letters of my first name and the first last letters of my the name my my grandma calls me that was how we came up we were like okay let's just call it Bell. but right from time i didn't just want my channel to be not like to just be restricted to makeup so i was like you know what we're not going to go with makeup it's just going to be Omabel, like Omabel. and then we were like okay let's put tv so we just put Omabel tv that was how Omabel tv came came in guys because i wanted it to be like something open that is another thing when it comes to branding like guys i'm so excited for this video but let's just go ahead <laughs> branding is very very important so when um when i when we registered and then i started like creating content guys one thing i want to say in this video is always make like make sure people's opinion don't matter in your life because if you notice that you listen to people a lot definitely try and tell it this year like go after that which you know that you want to go after don't listen to people because after I started the social media, I had my a thick Nigerian accent then. I know I still have my Nigerian accent now, which I'm not in a hurry. Like I told you guys 10 years ago, I'm not in a hurry to change my accent. Like my accent is my identity. I love being African. I love being Nigerian. So I'm not in a hurry. I'm not the type of people that, or the type of person that before I cross the shores of the four walls of um, Nigerian International Airport, my accent and everything is changed. I told myself right from time that I'm not in a hurry to change my accent. So just imagine me being a freshie, a newbie in, a con in, a, in this country and then going online, starting a YouTube channel. Imagine my thick Nigerian accent, which wasn't a problem to to American audience, you know, to my American audience then. Because when I started, I, I dived, like I went straight into like makeup for acne, prone skin, makeup for acne and things like that. So I drew a lot of audience, both black, white, Indian, Asian. I drew a lot of, you know, I drew here, here is a black woman, one of the first, you know, one of the OGs, you know. Here is a black woman with a terrible skin sharing her journey just like Cassandra Banksy. 
and Cassandra Braxton, of course, she's white, she's already had that audience, but me, I was just starting my audience, I was just starting my channel, so, a lot of, um, a lot of, I grew, you know, with my foundation routine, my makeup routine, all the acne, acne covering foundation routine, all those routines back in the day, right, it really, it blew up my channel, and then, um, it's funny how when I started, right, a lot of, non-nigerians really really enjoyed my accent but guess what guys i now started getting all these hate comments of how terrible my accent is how i'm so emotic this is coming from nigerians because it's the only nigerians especially like Igbos, yorubas Aosas, like nigerian um, tribes they are the ones that sometimes once you talk they are able to predict where you're from so Come and see bashing i remember one of the one day that i nearly gave up was a popular um blog from from back home bella niger beauty i believe that was when they were starting off this they you know they loved my my video and they posted it on their website and i was so excited i ran to the website to you know go and watch my videos and let me tell you guys 99.9% .9 of the people that commented on that video was talking about how terrible my, my acne is, how terrible my accent is. That was the day my husband came back from work. I was like, babe, I don't think this is for me. Like, um, I don't think <laughs> this whole social media thing is for me. But thank God for the type of husband I have. He was like, babe, if I'm not complaining, like, mind you, my husband, he's, he's born and bred here. Like, my husband, he is literally an American. Like, he was born, he grew up here, everything, his accent, everything is like pure American accent. He was like, sweetie, I saw all this and I still, you know, I still married you. Like, should that even concern you? What people think, that shouldn't even concern you. That was how I was like, you know what, we die here, like... Nobody is going to frustrate me out of, um, out of YouTube. I now, I was like, like from there, there was just this, this tough skin I grew. This is before even people started talking of how to survive on YouTube, how to develop a tough skin. Mind you then, even Instagram wasn't even, Instagram was probably on its um, first leg of starting, right? Because YouTube is the OG now. When we're talking of, all these them TikTok, all these them um, social media platform, platforms, TikTok, like YouTube is the OG. Jesus, is that 18 minutes? Jesus Christ, Lord help me. So basically, that was how we started and um, that is exactly, I was just trying to give you guys a background of the whole journey. How is that 12 minutes? Uh, how much? Okay, you know, that is how everything started and I always relate this to, you know, being able to find your purpose. We all know that we are here on a mission, you know, there is always a purpose that, you know, God brought you here for and it's always easier when we are able to identify our purpose. I would say, you know, when I was growing up, I've always hated the fact that I had acne, but when I started this whole, you know, social media thing, it just started being more and more and more pronounced to me that probably the reason i had acne all this lay low okay the reason i had acne all this while was because god wanted to use acne to open doors for me that like back in the day back then i was so angry the fact that i had acne but looking back like look in hindsight now i'm so thankful i'm just because if not because of the fact that I had acne, guys, like, of course, I still struggle with acne, but it's, it's not, it's nowhere as bad as how it used to be. And so now when I think about it, I'm like, God, like, you are really, really a master planner. Because if not because I had acne and my, my mother-in-law was like, you know, she saw the video and she was like, oh my God, like, my daughter-in-law also has acne and she saw that I could actually flourish doing the same thing she had seen the lady doing on you know on social media probably there wouldn't have been all my probably i would be a nurse right now and in one hospital like one thing i'm so thankful to god about is with what i do right now like it gives me an opportunity to work from home i kind of take care of my family i'm here for my family i'm here for my kids which is a huge 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 blessing i've always been a homebody so being able to work from the comfort of my home 
is a huge blessing so like what i was saying it's all about you know purpose it's all about your destiny i feel like there, there was god actually aligned this right from the beginning oh it started like a it started like a hobby that was you know back in the day we didn't even know what it me meant to be a su successful influencer we all knew that we were just creating videos before before we knew it there was things like likes dislikes you know of course comments and um, i remember also one of the things that made me want to quit back in the day was the fact that you know how even up to today people still have that issues which I would really really suggest if you find yourself in this situation please don't don't it like 10 years after now i can care less if there is if there is likes and things like that because as long as you know you're you're fulfilling like you have an audience and you have people you're talking to that alone is a blessing on its own so what i'm trying to say is there is you know with my years of being a social media content creator I've come to learn that there's a difference between a popular influencer and a successful influencer. I mean, su successful influencer don't have to be the monetary aspect, even though the monetary aspect is very, very, it's very, very essential. I mean, I've been doing this for 10 years. Let's say I was 24 when I started this and I should be 34 now. So it's not, it's, it shouldn't be a hobby now. It should be a business. It should be like something like, Especially when you're giving in all your time, morning, people leave for work 9 to 5. This is literally my 9 to 5. So being able to know the difference between a popular influencer and, uh, and a successful influencer is very, very important. The reason I'm saying this is I remember when I used to be so bothered, maybe when I post and I don't get like likes. I kind of analyzed everything and I'm like, you know what? It's not about the likes. It's not about the views. If you post a video and even you're able to touch one person, two people, three people, five people, 10 people, 100 people, like genuinely touch people, that is already a blessing on its own. So that was when I started being like, you know what? Being popular is different and being a successful influencer is different. So being a popular influencer is different. Being a successful influencer is totally different, guys. And I feel like in the world of social media, a lot of people want to be popular. A lot of people... You know, want to be, oh, the talk of the town. But have you ever thought about, like, what about being a successful influencer? Like, success, being able to touch lives, being able to help people. Because, like they say, you are always known for the problems you create or the problems you solved, you know? So, that was, that actually started being my watchword. And I'm so thankful because now I would proudly hit my chest and say I am a successful influencer, both financially on and otherwise that's just the truth even though of course i'm that type of influencer that don't show a lot but guys god has been faithful i mean he has been faithful like this kind of success you know i'm talking about is success that i used to hear that was possible but i never like i used to hear it in person and then i'm like oh okay like i never believed it but now i'm living it and i'm like wow like god you are just a master planner because left for me <laughs> this i wouldn't have been here like i wouldn't have been doing this but god like he orchestrated everything he knew what he was doing that's the right word to you to use god exactly knew what he was doing you know for me i feel like i've learned so much like i've learned a lot this look is actually the look i i did for my birthday guys and i've been so much into smoky eye of late <laughs> That's why if you watch my um if you watched my if you watched my um birthday look on I believe I put I think I, I think I didn't post that on my YouTube shot. If you watched it on Instagram you would know that this is the same look I had created for my birthday. I really I love it. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna and I have things to do after this video. So I was like, I want a, a smoky eye again. So that's the reason I'm back here doing the same look but yeah you know with all the experiences i feel like there is a lot especially if you're just starting out or if you have a relative or even even if you're not a social media influencer or a content creator there is a lot that you know you can learn just from my page i mean of course i started this as um, a beauty channel but as we grow like i said if i was if i was 10 when i started <laughs> if i was 10 when i started my channel 
10 years after I should be 20 so I should be 20 so you know back back then I was into makeup and then as my interest as I grew and you know my interest diversified I was like oh my gosh like I don't enjoy makeup so much these days and it took me quite a while I was contemplating it I was asking hobby babe you sure he was like sweetie you've been as open as possible you know to your audience if you don't enjoy makeup no more i mean stop doing makeup he was like babe my husband is a very he's a straightforward person he's a straight shooter he's like if you don't enjoy it no more don't stop doing it diversify i was like babe and now i'm a mom i started youtube when i was pregnant right i'm a mom i'm a wife i'm an entrepreneur i'm a business owner i have a lot of things going on like i can't just sit down here every single day and do makeup for you guys so i was like you know what it's time for us to rebrand so 2020 of course guys in my mother-in-law's memory in her loving memory guys we lost her in 2020 and um after 2020 i was like you know what life is so short for you to not do that which you love i mean like you have to do that thing that really really gives you joy and for me then i just loved doing like regular things lifestyle things you know like things that i do on a on a regular and i'm so happy because now it's like I do everything a normal wife, a normal mom does, right? You wake up, you take care of your family, you do the dishes, you clean your home, <laughs> you shop, you do your food shopping, you cook. All those aspects of being uh, like a homemaker, that is what my channel is all about now. And it's not just my channel, my social media accounts, that's what it's all about. But you all know it all started with just a like, makeup channel, you know, having a makeup channel. But now... We are so into lifestyle, home. I'm into home. I still do. I still. I still do beauty here and there, fashion, um, lifestyle, home decor. You know, those are the things like that. I'm. I'm more like an everyday, an everyday homemaker right now. And those are the contents I enjoy. I, I enjoy, you know, filming and posting. It's like, you know, one thing I'm so thankful for with this. Um, with this channel or with my brand right now is because it's something that I absolutely really do enjoy doing, you know. It's something I wake up, it's like something you as a mom, you as a wife, I know that you do those those things too. You wake up, you care for your family, you cook for them, you clean. And you know, being able to do all those things like regular people do and being able to monetize it and make money from it and also work from home. That's a huge blessing that sometimes i'm like oh my gosh i wish like i rebranded early <laughs> honestly i wait i wish i went into lifestyle early because that is such a huge blessing and it's it's less stressful because like you're just filming the things you do on a regular basis that's a blessing i feel like i feel like i'm qualified to write a book guys i was actually thinking immediately i clocked 10 years i was like i have to write a book like there's been a lot of there's been a lot of things that you know that i grew from there's been a lot of blessings like i said there's been a lot of a lot of disappointments but at the end of the day we are still here we are still winning so i was like you know what i need to write a book after thinking about it i was like i want to do something that is personalized to me it's not just having a book but having something that I can share with you guys something that you guys know that this is Omabel like unedited. This is Omabel extraordinary because I've been able to compute every single thing I've learned throughout my years on social media and being a successful influencer, like I said, it, it takes a lot, guys. And I know that if you are if you are an influencer, if you're a content creator, at the end of the day, we all want to be successful at it. So, guys, I'm so excited because i finally have something from me that i can share with you guys something that is on my bell guys look at this no this is not a book this is even better than a book guys this is a 12 month deadless planner and in this book i was able to share a lot of knowledge everything that i've gone through over these 10 years guys as you guys can see this is actually a digital um you know 12 months planner even though i was able to print it if you want you can 
of course get it from the website you can print it if you want to but this is a digital you know 12 month dateless planner and here i was able to share a lot of things with you guys like everything from setting goals, accomplishing those goals, how to brand yourself, budget track, and make money in 30 days, how I was able to close 70,000 in a month, guys. Like, there is a lot of insights here how to work with brands because a lot of people see us work with brands and I'm sure that, you know, they ask, like, how do you even do it? You have to pitch, you have to reach out to brands like if there's any brand you love you reach out to them but it's not just reaching out to them guys there is things that you have to know about brand pitches i own personal brand pitch that is like my email the email i send to brands that land me um brand collaborations it's all in here and currently we have five um we are selling this as a bundle so i have the 12 months dead left planner and then i have my pitch deck my brand pitch deck we have grants and also we have a how to make your home video all as a bundle under 40 dollars guys like come on i was just thinking about you guys i was like i want to make this as affordable as possible so as you guys can see in this page right here i'm not sure if you guys can see it but you can see my picture and then i have the perfect content tips here i'm able to share with you guys the different contents there are three major things you have to know if you're a content creator and when it comes to your content you want to make sure that your content possesses these three things or either of these three things it's either you're educating it's either you're inspiring or it's either you're entertaining these are the three main things you know you always have to have at the back of your mind when creating content and all those things you know see i wrote those things for you this is more like somebody writing a book but i made it where it's like it also would involve you because i left space for you to also write in your own thing so look at this we have the goal action plan so you know you're able to write your own goals and you know everything also i have the budget tracker and of course branding branding is one aspect of being a social media influencer that a lot of people miss remember i told you guys that when i was starting my youth my youtube channel i wanted to make it in a way whereby it's not restricted and i feel like a lot of people run into this problem where when you're starting up you probably didn't know much about branding and you know you just start off you use any name you know you you give your channel any name and things like that but you have to make sure your your channel or your page if you're on instagram youtube tiktok everything have to be branded that is one thing about my brand like i mean my email is my name like it's my brand name my brand like everything so here i have branding 101 I'm not sure if you guys can see it so here in my branding 101 I'm able to you know share all the information you guys need look at this so I'm able to, to tell you you know how to choose your brand how to you know what to look forward to in your audience you have to know your target audience which is another thing I feel like a lot of people you know a lot of people miss people don't actually know you're talking to somebody on your page on your channel but you don't even know your target audience you don't even know who you're talking to so that right there i was able to explain everything for you guys like look at this like i said this is more like somebody writing a book because like i have all the info right here like things that i wish i had somebody that gave me this when i was starting this right here is going to be a perfect gift for anybody you know that is starting this social media journey or even yourself too this is actually a planner guys so <laughs> even if you're not into social media look i even have my social media content calendar because you guys know for you to thrive in this you have you have <laughs> you have to be consistent guys it's very very important so my social media content calendar i was able to share that with you guys and you're also able to write your own calendar see from january february march april may as you guys can see it's just like a planner but it's more than a planner because there is a lot of tips a lot of information that you know i included in here so you still have all the pages that you can write in you know as a planner as you guys can see so of course like i said i gave in my 
email pitches the email i used to land brand deals i would say 2021 2022 was like the 2020 2022 2023 was a very busy you know year for me when it comes to the business aspects of social media because i was able to work with a lot of brands you know so i put in my email pitch my introduction pitch my video pitch sales representation um, and pitch guys so like this right here <laughs> I like when I finally had this in my hand I was like yes this is what we are talking about even though you know I, I didn't write a book but I know I wrote something better than a book and as you guys can see look at this look at this look at this you know it says your vision board because we all have um, our vision board I, I last year I was so thankful because almost all everything I had in my vision board came to fulfillment it came to life and if there is there's something cooking right now that I can't like for my family that I can't even wait to share it with you guys but of course one uh, one thing I've also learned with my years on social media is when you're working on something try and keep it private until it materializes like it's hundred percent done then you can share but there is something cooking that I can't wait to share with you guys so basically as you guys can see I also have some grants as you all know I'm not sure if you guys know but my husband is a huge realtor and he also works with a lot of grants so if you're a small business there is small business grants there is hot grants checklist so we included all the grants here so if you're a small business and you're looking for grants you guys know grants is money that is giving out it's like a giveaway it's money that you can get without even paying having to pay back so we have you know the beauty and phones marriage grants a thousand dollars we have the amber grants ten thousand to twenty five thousand dollars we have the founders for cdc grants which is hundred thousand dollars a lot of grants that you can grab right here and how to make money with your phone like i said we all started social media i believe almost everybody started social media with their phone because even when you know after we talk after my mother-in-law insisted that we open up a, a youtube channel guys we all started with our phones like i remember then my very first video i just tagged books there was nothing i didn't even know anything about tripod then so i just tagged book put my small teeny weeny iphone back in the day i believe it was iphone 7 or so put it up and that was how i started creating content that is why i decided to call this educational aspect of Omabel tv beauty and phones and also it's how to make your home your income because after i diversified and i went like full on lifestyle oh my gosh it's been a total transformation it's been a total blessing since then guys so that's why as you guys can see beauty started the whole journey and also i started my phone with the whole journey so that is the reason you know we decided to give this planner this um you know this 12 months deadless planner beauty and phones and also you can say that i'm beauty and my husband is phones because my husband he's actually i feel like my husband is the armor bell that you guys don't see he's actually the brain behind everything when it comes to Oma Bell, guys. Oma Bell is just, you guys just see me, you know, you identify me as Oma Bell. But when it comes to the backbone, like somebody, I can wake up 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 1 a.m., 12 p.m. in the morning, 12 a.m. in the morning to talk about anything, guys. He's always there to give me a listening ear. He's always there to guide me. He's always there to support, you know. My husband is like the armor bell you guys don't see. But best believe he's in the background. He's always helping out. He's always leading, you know, our rights. Remember that these days, you don't even need to be a content creator and influencer. Even businesses are on social media. And a lot of people want to know how to grow, you know, their businesses and things like that. And all those things are here. And also, how to make money with affiliates. Apart from making money, like grossing apart from grossing like 70 50 thousand depending on them on the month and month you are also able to make money just through affiliates being able to link any product in your home like you are able to make money you know just being an affiliate marketer so i was able to put it right here as you guys can see make money with affiliates and yeah this is this is um a lot a lot of information even best phones for content best best apps for content there is a lot of 
information that you guys are definitely gonna enjoy this one says content ideas to make you hundred thousand dollars guys oh my gosh like I'm, I'm just so excited honestly this is the 12 months deadless planner and it has a picture of me and my hobby right here guys definitely how to be a social media influencer how to be a content creator everything you need guys definitely here this right here this is like my this is my baby right now i told ace i said ac you used to be a baby but this right here this is my baby right now like i'm so i'm so so thankful for all the for all the opportunities you know that starting up this has brought you know my way it's been a blessing and i'm so thankful that i've been able to also be a blessing to you guys because you know just sticking around here with me your support everything it's you know it's never went on unnoticed like i just i thank god thank god for the journey so far thank god for you know it's a brand new year i feel like this 2024 is gonna be a great year because there's just a lot of things unfolding a lot of you know a lot of pray and start prayers like unfolding 2024 it's definitely been gonna be like a banging year you better believe it you better say amen because it's gonna be a lot like it's gonna be a a mesmerizing year for a lot of us my sister-in-law got this concealer guys she got it to use <laughs> But for some reason, it's so light for her. She was like, oh my gosh, if it, like, please, come and take this concealer. I was like, ah, sis, but it, you're lighter than me. So if this concealer is too light for you, that means it's going to be too light for me. But then I was like, ah, what are you even saying? Like, there's something like concealer for highlighting. And guys, this has become like my favorite concealer. I've been using it since last year, even though it's, um, it's on the pricey side. I was asking her, I said, where did you... Even, how did you come about the name? Because I've never heard this name before. But it's so expensive. It's like 70, 70 something dollars for a tube of concealer. I told her, I said, since you've, you've, you've um, introduced me to something I love so much that I can't even not buy. So last year, I finished the one she gave me. But this is like the new one. But I love it. I love that concealer. I love the, the way like it brightens my under eye. People always ask me, oh, my bell, how do I, you know, get my home looking like yours? And I always tell them, guys, if you knew my home like four or five years ago, like <laughs> you, you will be like, oh, my bell, what did you do? Also, I was able to share, you know, all the home decor secrets and things like that. I mean, just click the link in my bio because on the website, I gave you guys all my home decor secrets, how to, you know, transform your home if you... You know, if you watch us on social media and you're like, oh my gosh, like, I want to get my home looking like that, stop wishing. Go after it, guys. I used to be just like that. I used to see people's homes on social media and then I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I wish I, get, I can get my house looking like that. I mean, even if you're renting, you can also, you know, do minor, minor, um, re like, minor surgery. I call it minor home surgery, right? You can do like minor things, minor improvements in your home that will let you enjoy your home a lot. We are here to share all the all the info with you guys. So we have classes coming up on the website. We have courses and things like that. So definitely try and check out the website. All those burning questions you've had, they are all going to be talked about. They are all going to be answered on the website. I love this look right here. It's a very nice smoky eye. And then I set it to pair it with a neutral lip. But yeah, guys, I believe that is all there is to this video. I mean, you guys, it's um, you know, like I said, I've been meaning to film this video for you guys, so I'm happy that I finally got you know around it. But yeah, guys, definitely. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. If you picked up one or two things from today's video, give it a huge thumbs up. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. And till my next video, I will see you all very, very soon. Bye!